My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UiPath. Today we will see how we can save Outlook mails to Excel. It was a question I got from Kitchen Realities, where she, I think, asks how she can get the body out of an Outlook mail and work with it. So um, let's see how that is done. And if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel to get all the new videos about UiPath and RPA. So we're here in UiPath and we want to save some Outlook mails. So let's look at those. We want to save some mails uh, here from the inbox and we want to save especially the body. That's this body that Kitchen Realities want to get out. So go to UiPath. Then first we need a get Outlook mail messages. So we're here, drag it in, then mark it. And the account, that's just the account name. That's here is RPA test at CloanSDK. So specify that and I'll create a variable for it. So here is tr account and then under default specify the name RPA test at cloans dk. So that's it. And then we go back to Outlook mail messages and specify the variable here. This approach, you could of course just write this uh, this thing in here directly hard coded. However, this approach approach is good because whenever this uh, is changed, we can just change it one place here in the variables, and it will change anywhere, everywhere in the workflow. So um, the next property that's the mail folder minus inbox, so that's fine. Leave it as it is. Then uh, we want to specify that we we want to read both unread and read messages. So unmark this. This top, that's how many mails that we want to uh, read in the mailbox and 30. That's fine. That's a default. That's fine for us. And then we want to specify the output variable. And this is a list of mail messages. So control K and then list mails. We can go down to variables. We can see that we actually created a list of mail messages variable called list mails. So far, so good. So now we created an activity where we get the mail, uh, the Outlook mails out to a list. So uh, then we want to read them. And for that, we will choose a for each. Let's find it here. Drag this guy in here. And in the type argument, instead of object, we need to change this. So click the object, browse for types. Let me drag this in and search for mail, mes mail message like this and under uh, system 4. something system.net.mail take the mail message not the web mail be sure to take this one net mail mail message so click ok and then for each item in this list so that's just the uh, list of mails like this then we want to do something let us delete this body and then let's just write out the, um, the mail body first then we can save it to something more uh, exciting like Excel. So choose a right line and then we'll uh, refer to the item and then uh, we can see here that we can actually choose the body. So choose item body and then to string like this. This one will print out the body. Let's try to run it. Your path runs and it's done. So go down to output. And we can see that we uh, print out uh, all of the mail body. That's the first mail, this is the second, the third, and so forth. So that's so far so good. Click the output again. Now we want to write out the data as well, maybe. So click and uh, drag in another white line. And then uh, this one is a little different. So item. And then we'll, uh, the um, date is in the headers. So choose headers and then parentheses in quotation marks date to string like this. This one will print out the date above the mail body of all 30 mails. So we run it. And uh, in the output again, we can see that scroll up that we got the date here first. So that's fine. Then we can also add a subject. So we're item subject to string. This. I won't run this. Uh, you just have to believe me that uh, it actually do what we want to do. You'll see that in a second. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. So now we wrote them out. However, we might want to save them to Excel. And for that, we will use a first. We'll have a data table to um, be built and to save the data to. So build data table and then in the output, press Control K and type in maybe DT mails. You can name yours. Uh, data table, whatever you want. I'll prefer DT mails. Then click the data table here 
and delete all this, we'll create something new. So, so now there's nothing in it. Press the plus. First, we got a date column, then click the plus again. Then we got the subject column. And finally, oh, sorry, we got um, the body column. Like this, and then click OK. Then we want to add uh, this data. So we want to, for each item in the list of mails, we want to add the date, the subject, and the body. And for that, we will search for add data row here. Drag this guy in. And first, we will write out to the data table that we just created. That's the DT mails. And uh, we will specify an array. And this array will just be the three commands that we wrote here. So let's open the expression editor. First curly brackets, and then we'll have the item headers. This one will be a little bit fast because I actually just did it, but uh, you can just pause the video and uh, write it. Then item subject, and then comma item subject to string. Then another comma item body to string. I'll let you finish this, so wait five seconds. So now we created this array, and I think you're finished now, so click OK. So now we are actually added the data row to our data table. And now we just need to print it out to an Excel sheet or CSV, whatever we want. We will choose a right range and choose the one on the workbook. Drag this guy in. The workbook path. Let's just create an Excel sheet here on the desktop. So right click, new, oh, Excel worksheet. Let us try to open it. And we can see that it's empty. And this is uh, actually, I think it's a Danish version of Excel. I know it's in English, but I think the sheet name will be a little bit different. Yeah, it's Arc1, so let me just uh, rename it to Sheet1, because I think yours will be named this. Uh, we'll use that in a second. So close it down again and go to UI path. The workbook path, that's just the uh, workbook that we just created. So point it to our new Microsoft Excel worksheet. Sheet 1, that's why I changed it, because yours is probably Sheet 1. Delete this range, and then choose the data table. That's the DT mails, fine. And then choose to add headers, and now we can run it. So what we do here is we get the mail messages, we um, and we save them to the data table, and finally we print them out to Excel. And remember these three guys here, we don't need them now. I just left them, so you got them. However, we don't need them to write out. They're just there. So let us open the Excel worksheet and see that we completed our mission. And you can see here we got the date. That's fine. We got the date. We got the subject and the body. You can see every everything in the body, but we can try to copy this, open a notepad, and paste it in. And you can see that we actually got the whole body text here uh, saved in this cell. So that's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the new UiPath videos. With that said, I hope you have a very good day and kitchen realities. I hope we solved your problem. Otherwise, just write and we'll correct the solution. Have a good day. Bye-bye.